uh, uh, I think it's fair for me to do a King Cobra one, okay? I want to see this one. This looks really great, okay? I want to see his spicy fish ramen noodles. You guys ready? You guys ready for this? Because I'm ready for this. I am aware of this King Cobra guy. Yeah, he's kind of low-hanging fruit when it comes to to um to bad cooking, but I feel like I need to share with you all. Let's do it. Custom made ramen noodles. This is where you get the seasoning. He makes amazing glass. His Cajun seasoning slaps. You got some uh, Country Crock original. Let's flash a little bit of that in there, just like that. Now we're going to be adding all kinds of uh, delicious ingredients to our ramen, but we're going to start by cooking up some fresh bacon. Okay, so we're starting with bacon, huh? And a piece of bacon. Uh-oh. Oh, man, that is some slimy-looking bacon. Okay, bacon? Bacon is not supposed to look that slimy. I'm dead serious, okay? And a piece look. of bacon. Look at, hold on, can we just see? Can we see if we can get that in action? Bacon. Watch it. And a piece of bacon. Look at that, you can see it glisten. Hold on, let's see there, see? Do you see that? I'm giving you the replay. Do you see how, how yeah, slippery and slick it is? That is the danger zone. And, and I mean that. Um, if your bacon is slimy, that's bad. Pretty much any meat being slimy is bad. Chicken uh, is like a little bit wet by default. That's just like the, the, the way, the texture of the meat. But you should never have your meat be slimy, okay? He's got a hot plate sitting on his stove. Isn't that a fire hazard? Oh, yeah. It's a massive fire hazard. But something you need to understand about King Cobra JFS is that he doesn't give a shit about fire hazards. Like, at all. Like, this guy's entire life is a fire hazard, okay? I'm serious. Bacon. Put a couple of pieces of bacon in there. Ooh, uh-oh, hold on. We're gonna do a quick bacon check. Quick, everybody, bacon check. Ooh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Hold on, come on back out of the pot there, buddy. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ooh, whoa, that's not a good color. That's not a good, these are, this is not a good color at all. Ooh, boy. We got a greenish tint down here. We've got a weird greenish dark spot. Yikes. Yikers. Check it out. To the top of that bacon. Uh, that was his nail polish? I don't think so. I don't think that was his nail polish there, was it? We're also going to add a can of what you'd call Spam. This is a uh, lunch in the loaf. It's basically Spam. And we're going to garnish the ramen noodles with some of this Sake Akika. I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but it's basically... Uh, Squid. Hmm. Yeah, somehow, okay. somehow. Squid. An interesting decision. So, so far, the ingredients we have in here is bacon covered in Cajun seasoning, spam, fried spam, and dried octopus. Chick fil A to really add the fish of fire, you know. Chick fil A sauce. What? <laughs> Chick-fil-A sauce. Oh, yeah. Get that nice and cooked up. You want to close up the bacon, don't you? Of course you do. Look at all that sexiness. It's a shame the back... It's, it's, a, it's a shame that the pork was green before. Because honestly, this level of cook is looking like it's doing okay so far. It's meh. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of seasoning floating in that grease, but so far, not so bad. 
We'll see. Pop it like it's hot. Pop it like the grease is hot. Yeah, no, that one's done. Would you eat that bacon? No, I wouldn't eat that bacon. Obviously, it did not look good uh, when it went into the into the pot. But honestly, this is not the worst cooked bacon. It's not actually burnt. Um, it looks a little just a little bit foamy. Uh, if if the bacon that went into the pan was fine, I might actually eat this bacon. But unfortunately, we know that it went into the pan in bad condition. So yeah. No, no rotten bacon for me. I eat that bacon. I'll call this piece. No Whoa. nice catch, wanker. Fuck, that's hot. Appreciate this sexiness, YouTube. Look at it. All that butter just dripping uh, off with that grease. Oh, God. God, delicious melted country crock original bacon. Grease. All right, we're gonna utilize our bacon grease to cook our eggs and our spam. See, that is that's too much. You do that. Now we're making a big ass bowl of ramen noodles. We're gonna add a bunch of ingredients to it. So we got bacon that's freshly cooked. And oh my God, Cobra's gonna have to use the can opener. This is really gonna blow your minds, people. We're gonna take our loaf of spam. We're gonna form a patty with it. We're going to throw spam our spam and we're going to fry it in our bacon grease. Do a light dust of our seasoning on each piece. I'm just gonna say, first of all, that's a lot of this Cajun seasoning. Like a lot, lot, lot of this Cajun seasoning is going into this so far. I hope there's not salt mixed into the Cajun seasoning and that it's just the seasoning. Because if there's salt in there, this is going to be inedible. Bacon is already a cured salty meat unless you got uh, uncured bacon, which I don't think that's what that was. Uh, then he added all this to it and it's cooked in butter. And then he's also adding Spam, which is insanely salty, all to ramen, which is really salty. This is all salt. There we are. I mean, look at that. Just fucking look at that, YouTube. Oh, so good. Yeah, you can eat spam raw, but you know. These are being deep fried at this point. You don't get it. His digestive system is just built different. Well, clearly, I mean, we've seen his other videos. This one's pretty, this one's getting there. This one's getting pretty questionable. To be fair, this one isn't like his cake that we watched, which was putrid. Let's see what happened. Let's see what happens. Crisp it up a little bit, add some texture to your ramen noodles. You know what I'm saying? Like, bruh. Oh, you wanna be a naughty little piece, don't you? Yes. I thought you fucking bastard. This one's crispy, this one's so. A little crispy. Whoa, what happened? That bacon has dried the fuck out. You know. Bacon. Hi Chihuahua, I splashed grease on my leg and my foot. That goddamn spam looking like we fried her up good. Yeah, you too. YouTube. Oh yeah, look at that. It looks like a flip-flop. It looks like a fucking flip-flop. <laughs> Golden goodness. <laughs> I'm gonna set that in there with our bacon. We still got a little bit of grease left in our pan with the oven saturated with bacon and spam. 
Like, oh my god, you guys, Cobra's actually smart enough to do these things? I am shocked. Lucran. Lucran, Lucran, Potato, Potato. Who gives a fuck how you pronounce it? Got large eggs. If you're going to, like, mix ingredients with your shit. No, like, dude, no! Oh my god, cooking the eggs in the, in the black... The, the the just the the black mess. You. I don't want no fucking shell in there, you stupid wanker. There we are. Kiss my ass because you fucking wanking bollocks. Using the G feel as a camera prop. There should be. Oh, oh no! Why would you? Oh my god! Why would you pour milk into the giant grease pit of burnt ass grease that's run off from your burnt bacon, your your burnt rotten bacon, and your spam, and then you're mixing it? Is he gonna turn the whole thing into like a uh, grease? Souffle? Don't want to splash more of that country crock. Wait, it's country crock? So he's not using butter. He's using country crock, which is a uh, margarine, which is um, vegetable oil, isn't it? So this is a giant. This is a giant bowl of hydrogenated vegetable oil with spam runoff about a half of a of a of a shaker of cajun seasoning burnt rotten bacon and now eggs milk and more country crock oh man a little bit of buttermilk, a little bit of butter. Just like that. Oh, Focus, no. Hold up. That looks horrible. All right, just like that. Now, to scramble up our eggs, we're going to also add in, we're going to add our seasoning that we've been using, keeping it, keeping it going. With the okay, all of the seasoning is already in there. So this is going to be three cooking sessions worth of seasoning mixed into the egg and burnt oil souffle. Delicious Cajun seasoning, just a sprinkle of that. Slap it out with some of that wet wizard hot sauce. Hot sauce? That's the last of my wet wizard hot sauce. Just for a little diverse heat. A little bit of honey I, I don't actually know how you can eat this and not get sick. Like, that is just, there is just so much crap in there. Maybe, all right, we'll see if he actually eats it. Usually he does. The thing about, about King Cobra, where you, how you know he's real, is that you always see him eat it. And that's one of the things that's important. There's a lot of fakers, okay, you guys? There's a lot of fakers on the internet. There's a lot of fake bad cooks. People who intentionally make gross things for one reason or another. But King Cobra JFS, he eats this shit. He actually eats this shit. That's how you know he's the real deal. Sweetness. I just, I can't imagine that you don't feel like sick for a day after eating this. Craft. It is a mackerel can, a can of a uh, mackerel and brine. Canned fish? Oh God! A canned fish. This is gonna be spectacular, YouTube. King Cobra JFS uses a can opener. Comment down below, do you think I opened it? Or am I too fucking retarded to do anything? Whoa, bro. Hey, 
Cooler with the ableist language. Uh, I think I got it open in the oh. first shot, and my trolls are fucking stupid as shit. You didn't get it open, Cobra. You're too stupid to do anything. Really? Observe. Sirix2118 says, What in the fresh hell did I walk into? Cooking Mama, the part of the show where we watch the most disgusting cooking on the entire planet. And we try to find actual bad cooking and not fake bad cooking. And this guy is the king of real bad cooking. Rockhead. Fuck you, Deborah. I love macro and canned fish. So now let's add a uh, oh. fish. Fill in the fish for flavor. Oh! No! Listen! Listen, everybody! My chat, listen! Listen closely! Fill in the fish for flavor. He fucking sucked. He slurped the fucking preservatives out of the canned fish. He fucking slurped the fucking... Oh my god. Fill in the fish for flavor. Oh! Didn't want to waste any of that goodness. There's our mackerel. We're gonna stir it around. In oh our, my god! Our, uh, Did you see that? Scrambled eggs. There's our mackerel. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! It looks like a suicide photo from Live Leak. Where's the live leak logo when I need it? Oh my god! <laughs> oh no! Hold on. <laughs> uh, with our uh, scrambled eggs. Most of that grease is pretty much being soaked into the fish and the eggs. <laughs> I have seen, I am, I am not even kidding you. I have seen a photo. I have seen photos from the Ukraine war that are less graphic than this. I'm not even fucking kidding you. Delicious. Oh my fucking god! Oh no! Barbecue so chips for a little crunch for those eggs. Oh my Sprinkling those barbecue chips on their eggs. You go on the uh, chips. Ramen noodles. Chips. Scrambled eggs. Oh, God. I'm sorry. I need Ramen to see that again. Noodles. I want to note that he's been cooking these eggs so long with the mashed fish in there that 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 Remember what the oil looked like before? The oil has been absorbed into the fish, chips, and eggs that are, they have to be so overcooked. They have to be so overcooked. I love how it has this large bulbous like tumor here. Scrambled eggs much? I'll scramble your eggs. Oh, I am not wasting any of this goodness, folks. No, sir. This is what it looks like here. Actual, looks like actual dog food. Three. Eggs. Protein with the eggs and the fish. 
the fish cooked in there, it's, it's already cooked, like I said. It's just gonna, this is gonna be just decadence. That is not, that is not how I would describe this at all. I do not describe eating like regurgitated, uh, regurgitated dog food as decadence. I'm gonna smear in most of that grease onto the eggs because I fucking can. And because the smell in my kitchen right now is fucking glorious. Take some of that fucking grease. Smear it all over this fucking spam. Oh, this is so naughty, YouTube. This is cheat day and a half. I mean, is this excessive? Fucking A right it is. And that's why it's delicious. Oh, don't fuck. I'm getting fucking grease all over my fucking charging cable. Fucking fuck. Chloe B says, I thought I was a bad cook, but this guy makes me realize that I'm not. And that scares me so much. Oh, yeah. You got to understand this guy like collectively raises the general, the like general cooking level of the planet. Uh, like the average. He makes the average person like feel so much better. He, he tanks the overall planetary average. But what that means is that people who are otherwise bad cooks get to be considered good cooks now because this guy exists. Like, no joke. It's actually horrifying. Like, it looked like he was just dripping pus on top of his, um, on top of his spam. It looks disgusting. It's like this so-called grease, which is like congealed egg, burnt, uh, burnt country crock, mixed with way too much seasoning, mixed with f canned fish drippings. People are just gonna be shocked that I was able to use the fucking can opener without making an ass of myself. Hot. Surely do. <coughs> good sign. Yeah, good sign, bro. Good sign. <coughs> Oh, they're tasty, but oh, fuck, they're fresh, they're hot, yeah. Oh, man. <coughs> mm. Excuse me. Ew! Just the right amount. Oh! Oh, God! The heat, for the, like, the spiciness of it, it's perfect. We got some chicken ramen noodles. And of course we have some shin noodle soup. It is, uh, I guess, supposed to be uh, gourmet spicy. Keep in, yeah, notice this is edited and he decided to keep in the part where he fucking vomited in his mouth. That's a spicy meatball, kiss my ass, burgers. This next part's pretty much boring. It's watching the microwave melt the noodles. So I'm not sure what the fuck that pre prepared shredded squid. So it's shredded squid meat. What this is. The butter congealed the noodles, YouTube, but they're fully cooked. Butter? The butter congealed. Wait, he put butter in there? This next part's pretty much boring. It's watching the microwave. Did I miss something? Melt the noodles. So I'm not sure what the fuck that per per away. What butter? What butter? Oh my god! You can see it on the edge of the thing. He did put butter in there. He put butter in the bottom. Why? Why would you put butter in there? Why would he put country crock in the ramen? Why? This next part's pretty much boring. It's watching the microwave melt the noodle squid. Is the butter congealed the noodles, YouTube, but they're fully cooked. Now we're gonna add our eggs, our spam, and our seasoning, and our sauce, and all that goodies. Chick fil A sauce. Huh?
Some Hidden Valley Bacon Ranch. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. <laughs> Crumbling the bacon. <laughs> Loaded the bacon. Take our fried spam and we tear into chunks. We get room for our eggs. Most of them, I might think. Eggs and fish. Mix all the eggs, the ramen, and everything together. Yeah, dude. That looks great, man. You got your butter-dried ramen noodles with your uh, uh, incomprehensible, inhuman sodium souffle at top. And we garnish with shredded squid meat. Danny Fallen says, this is like 10,000 calories of the most disgusting shit I've ever seen. How does any, how do people like this stay skinny? Do they just throw up all of it after I eat it, after they eat it? Unironically, I can't help but feel like this guy probably has like chronic diarrhea or perhaps like, like if he's eating this type of shit on a regular basis or on a semi-regular basis, I can't imagine that his bowels are absorbing much anymore. Like this is genuinely out of control. It's like you like the type of thing where your body will purge it. There is so there is like toxic levels of sodium. It's a basically calamari jerky. Check it out. I've already had a couple bites. I've been picking at it. There's that calamari, and them noodles. Bacon, spam. Okay, we've been mocking a lot of this, but let me just say the texture of this must be the worst part. A, a heinous affront to God, okay? The texture of this, it's got to be like eating, like, I don't know, like eating a, like eating a giant, like, loogie. Like, like a fucking, like a giant just fucking hawked a loogie on your face and you just decide to eat it. Calamari. I mean, you guys saw those noodles, right? Those noodles weren't cooked in water. They were boiled in country crock. They were fucking boiled in country crock. And look at him. Mm. This is why we say he's the real deal. He eats that garbage. He, he eats that right out of the fucking toilet. YouTube. Bacon, spam, eggs, fish, calamari. This is tasty. Very rich in flavor. The calamari's got a sweetness and saltiness to it. Mm. You wanna call it slot? Oh yeah, wait. It was mixed in with, let's just remember, about a half of a bottle of Chick-fil-A sauce and a half of a bottle of bacon-flavored Hidden Valley Ranch. Just remember that. That was the final touch on it. So you've got, uh, you've got, uh, 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 country crock boiled noodles with the oil souffle on top mixed together with two of the gloppiest, uh, most vegetable oil, soy oil based sauces you can imagine. But oh, that's a good slot, man.